Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is Chapter 7 of Owl Diaries, A Woodland Wedding. Chapter 7, A Woodland Wedding, Saturday. Diary, today is the day. Do you like my dress? Oh, and I think I know who took the necklace. But I won't say anything yet. We both know I've been wrong before, and that didn't go well. I need to make sure I'm right before I even tell you my idea. First, I need to phone Lucy. Hi, Lucy! The wedding is today. Yippee! Hey, I'm bringing Baxter in his castle cage. Are you bringing Rex in his? Yeah, should we dress them up too? Of course, they can be kings again. Great idea. But Eva, I feel bad We didn't find the necklace. Guess what? I think I solved the mystery. Really? Wow. Tell me more, Eva. I can't write now, but you'll know everything soon. Lucy and I flew to the wedding super early to set up. The other club members met us there. Everything looks flaptastic, but we still haven't found the necklace. Don't worry, Eva thinks she's solved the mystery. Yes, I think think. Just then, Miss Featherbottom flew in. Everything looks so beautiful. Thank you all so much. I just wish I had my necklace. Miss Featherbottom, have you seen Rex and Baxter? The pets all look lovely, Eva. But come look at Rex with his castle cage. I'm rather busy, Eva. Please, Miss Featherbottom. Well, okay. Look closely, everyone. We all looked at Rex and at his castle. My necklace! Rex took it? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, dear. The important thing is that we found it in time. Wow, Eva! How did you solve the mystery? Teamwork. The crumbs Sue found made me sure the thief was a pet. The scratch marks Zara found made me think of Rex. Whenever Rex plays with Baxter, he leaves scratch marks all over the tree. I also know Rex likes shiny things, so I thought he must have taken the necklace, stickers, and glitter pens, all to decorate his castle. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, no, I was so worried about my necklace that I forgot 
my something new, borrowed or blue. I don't have any of those things. Sue and I looked at each other. We both had the same idea. We can help you with that. We handed Miss Featherbottom the flower crown we had made. It's new, it's blue, and if you give it back, it's borrowed too. Wow, thank you so much. And it makes me hootingly happy to see you two working together. Miss Featherbottom flew off to change into her wedding dress. My dear diary, the wedding was the most beautiful wedding I have ever seen. Well, it was also the only wedding I have ever seen, but I can't imagine a lovelier one. Later, we all danced to Humphrey's band. Sue's mom came over and gave me an invitation to a surprise birthday party tomorrow for Sue. She didn't forget. I got an invitation. Me too. Hooray! We're all invited. We danced the day away, diary. Now, I must get some sleep. I can't wait to see Sue's face when she finds out about the surprise tomorrow. Good day. That's the end of chapter seven. We'll see you back here for the last chapter very, very soon. Bye-bye.